Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Adrian. Hope you guys are doing good today. So today is the big day. I have stuff from uh, Aldi that I need to go ahead and show you so I can put it in the freezer. I had to pick the kids up today. I got to pick Ava up from school, Gabe up from work, and maintenance is supposed to be coming to <laughs> check that out. So yeah, <laughs> busy, crazy day, but we're just going to keep going so now I'm gonna show you right, my Aldi haul. so this is my Aldi haul I've got some stuff over here on the deep freezer and actually I'm gonna start over here my apologies in advance because I do not have my Aldi receipt I have my Dollar Tree receipt right here but I do not have my Aldi receipt so yeah <laughs> it is what it is at this point okay um, but I am gonna go through each item and explain kind of my thought process in purchasing them um, first things first I'll do the non-food items. Um, I got this three pack of lighters and I'm pretty certain that this was like either $4.99 or $6.99. It was something, it was a really good deal. So I was like, oh wow, let me, let me go ahead and get that. Normally, of course, um, lighters like these are like a dollar, uh, well, a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree, but I just feel like these are going to be a much better, uh, quality. Um, and right here, let's see, it says... So one flexible wind resistant lighter and then two standard multi-purpose lighters. So this is a seven in one auto emergency power tool. I picked this up. Um, some of the things that it has, I already have. Um, so like a car charger, I have that. The uh, hammer, the safety hammer, I have like two of those actually in my van. The seatbelt cutter, that's actually attached to the um, safety hammer. Um, but this has a power bank. It also has a bottle opener. I guess you might need <laughs> that in different cases. Um, it has a warning light and then it has a flashlight. And I bought this for those two purposes, the lighting and also the power bank. Um, you never know when you may be in a situation where you leave home and for whatever reason, you're not able to make it back. I got this to go in my little emergency kit. This was like $6.99 or $7.99. This I thought was super, super cute. I need like a new little house coat. My little brown uh, tube top that I have is kind of like, kind of on its last leg. So I just decided to go ahead and get this. This is a lounge. It says a ladies sleep duster, but it has pockets. And I was like, oh, that's cool. It has pockets, it zips up. Just something I can throw on, wear around the house. Like it's lightweight. The material is really, really soft, but it's still like lightweight and thin. Um, so yeah, I got that. Aldi, they actually have a lot of little things. They have some sleepwear, like little pajamas, like the silk, silk like pajamas and things. So, and then I got some of these scented candles. Um, this is one, this one is called Happy Mother's Day. It smells different than the one that they had last year. This has more of a citrusy scent to it. Um, and then this one is Pear Blossom and Citrone. You guys know I love pretty much anything citrus scented, right? So anyway, moving on from uh, household stuff, I guess. I did go ahead and get a bag of flour, a bag of sugar, and this, I, I actually thought, I think that this was cornmeal, but it's like corn flour. I don't know if that's the same thing, but it does say, let me get close here. You can use this to make tortillas, tamales, Sopas, uh, enchiladas, pupusas. I love pupusas, like seriously, gorditas, and all this other stuff. I am going to learn how to make these things, especially pupusas and tortillas, because like we're always buying tortillas, right? So yeah, it would be great um, if I can learn how to make those myself. And y'all, this, like, I want to say that this was under three dollars i'm going to end up putting these all three of these into airtight containers so i did go ahead and get uh, a dozen eggs but i am going to get more like this is not the only thing that i'm going to get i just went ahead and got these from aldi just so i could have them moving over here to the table i got pineapple juice um i'm trying this fair life uh, milk. This is lactose free milk. Uh, the only one they had was this 2%. Normally I get whole milk, but anyway, we'll see how it tastes. I got some oat yogurt. This is, well, 
yeah, oat yogurt. Um, I got applesauce. I got a little jar of pesto. I had a jar of pesto in the um, pantry and one of the kids ended up opening it and putting it back, but I didn't realize that. And so when I went to do my little pantry cleanup um, a couple days ago, I realized that this was like leaking oil and it was doing that because they had already opened it. So I had to throw that out. But this is a new jar of pesto. I don't use it often, but um, which is why I only got this one container. Um, I got two of these uh, sort of Indian lentil. Um, well, this is lentil, this one is chickpeas, but this one is has pumpkin and sweet peppers. And then these chickpeas is uh, chickpeas and sweet potatoes and spinach. Um, these just have to be microwaved. They don't, like they're already cooked. This is some vegetable oil. I, again, I don't use vegetable oil often, which is why I didn't get like a big, huge container of it. So, but I just, you know, just got that. Um, I got some Parmesan cheese, these beef bouillon cubes and the chicken cubes as well. Um, this is also something that I have not used in a while. I used to use the chicken, um, but I just got this because I feel like I almost feel like it will last longer than um, regular uh, uh, stock, like chicken broth, things like that. Yeah, this expires January 18th, 2024. Got another container of pepper. I got three boxes of butter. Normally, uh, I get the Kerrygold butter from Costco or either the Aldi version of Kerrygold butter, but I decided to get this just because it was a bit more economical. Um, and that was kind of mostly what my, this shopping trip today was about, just getting the most bang for my buck. Um, we love crescents, but of course when you, you have to eat them, <laughs> when you buy them fresh in the store, you have to eat them or they go bad really quickly. So I decided to get these crescent rolls and I think I got five of them. Yep. Yeah. Five of those. Um, I got egg noodles. I got some white cheddar cheese popcorn. Um, I got these, uh, beef ground beef and ground turkey um packages uh i haven't bought them like this in a really long time like this reminds me of when gabe was little how i used to buy hamburger um way back then <laughs> but um these i got again just because they were less expensive they were i want to say they were like two dollars less than like the organic meat that's in the in the um store so i ended up getting this it says no artificial ingredients minimally processed um so that makes me feel a little bit better about buying it and it's 85 percent, so it's not going to have like a super 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 high uh fat content i just i don't like the whole pour off thing because i'm like where do i put it i have to put it in a container or something and then once that accumulates it's like okay then what i don't want to reuse that i know some people do and that's fine but i don't anyway i went ahead and got four each of these so i got the ground beef and then i got ground turkey and then i also got sausages these are the links i got three packs of the links and then whoop, if i don't fall I got two packs of brown Italian sausage. I got this little ham, this little ham for slicing, making, I guess, whatever, sandwiches or biscuits. Um, I can't remember the last time. I have some breakfast ham in the freezer, but I, I don't think I've ever bought uh, a ham like this. So it'll be interesting to see how that gets used. Um, I did get some pork chops. Those are center cut pork chops. I really like bone in, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, the chicken, and actually that has a price on it. So you can see this was $4.80 for what looks like about four pork chop um, chicken. So I got chicken thighs, chicken legs, and chicken breasts. These were my camera 9.33 for this pack right here. The legs were 7.08 and then the breasts were 11.24 for six. Um, I got some stew meat. This is Black Angus stew meat. This was 7.80 and then this is like taco meat, which is 7.29. So I got that and then I decided to get this. I want to, this was really inexpensive. I want to say this was under $7 and which was the reason why I got it. I haven't bought a, a like little meal like this with the meat and the vegetables in a really long time, but 
the price was too good for me to pass up. So this is a pork roast and then it has a little bit of vegetables to go with it. Um, finally, moving on to the cans. Um, I did not go super crazy with cans. Most of the things that we got, I got like three of certain things. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the ramen. I did get beef ramen, two 12 packs of that. I'm gonna get more later from Costco, but a different flavor. Um, but anyway, over here, so I got six of these fruit cocktails. I got some of these pastas. This is creamy Alfredo. This one is four cheese Alfredo. And then this one is roasted garlic Alfredo. Um, I got three cans of the chili with beans. Yeah, three of those. Um, let's go over here. I got three of these chicken breasts uh, in a can. I've never had these before. Like never, ever, 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 ever had chicken breasts out of a can. There's a lot of things that you can get in a can. I didn't realize that. Like you can actually get bread in a can. I was looking at it on Amazon. I actually heard somebody talking about it in a video the other day and I was like, wait, what? It does not look appetizing, but I, I guess if you are really, really hungry and you are really wanting some bread, then go for it. Um, creamy chicken and dumplings. I love chicken and dumplings. I've actually, when I go to Walmart, I'm getting more canned goods and I want some uh, chicken and pastry. Um, but anyway, I got three of those, three of the chicken breasts. Um, okay, that's the other one. Three of these macaroni and beef in tomato sauce, kind of like beefaroni, like uh, Aldi brand beefaroni. I got pasta rings and meatball. I got the Denti Moore, or well, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, the name brand version, but this is basically the same thing. This is a 20 ounce of beef stew. Over here, I have the chicken noodle soup. This is kind of like uh, Campbell's. These were really cheap. I want to say these were like 60 cent maybe. And I got some beef ravioli, two for each of us. So I got six, six beef ravioli and six of the chicken noodle soups. So, I think that's it. In all honesty, this trip was just for me to see, to get stocked up for one. Um, but I was also curious to see if what I've been hearing um, in the ether about these food shortages and things, I wanted to see how true those were. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, in, in my area, I am in Durham, North Carolina, okay? Um, I went to Dollar Tree and then I went to Aldi and I'm not seeing any shortages. I'm seeing shelves that are pretty stocked. Um, when we went to Dollar Tree, like there were like maybe three workers on the floor that were putting things on the shelf um, on different aisles. So I'm not seeing any shortages so far. And I'm not saying that there aren't any in certain places. I'm just saying there aren't any where I'm at, thankfully. In some cases, I can tell that prices are going up. But again, um, I'll see more once we go back out and go to Walmart and then Costco. We'll see if I if I see any any signs of any of those things. But so far, so far, so good in our area. So we're blessed. I'm blessed. Um, but anyway, that's my Aldi haul. Uh, hope you guys are good where you are. Hope you guys are able to get out to the store and get things that you need. And um, yeah, we just have to hang in there and do the best that we can. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.